Hey, good evening, Diego. Good evening, teacher. How's How are you going? tonight? All good. Good. <sighs> tired? So tired. So tired. 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 So tired. Why are you so tired? My job is a chaos. Chaos. Mm. But I like it. <laughs> it's necessary to, to have work. some change. Some change? Yeah, yeah, I like the, the theory, the chaos theory. The ca chaos theory. The theory, theory, why? Theory, yeah. What does it say? What is it because about? Because if you want order, you need chaos. Hmm. Hmm. Is necessary. Is it true? Yeah, I think so. But the process is not good. Everything, but it's necessary. I hope in two months, um, all the work is easier than now. Or all the worries are gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything is easier than now. Okay. <sighs> Man. I'm very tired as well, but I'm not satisfied yet. I will be okay when I turn on that engine and I drive the car again. I'll be fine then. <laughs> For now, it's all chaos. If you if you were if you were to see my garage, man, it's insane. It's a mess. Like a uh, Dexter Lab. Even worse. Yeah. But it is what it is. So let's see where am I going? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So um hmm. How many are we? We are six already. So let's start the class by saying hello to your classmates as usual. Hello, class. <laughs> break the eyes. Break, break the eyes. Teacher, ¿por qué dice rompanse los ojos? No. <laughs> break the eyes. <laughs> Come on, guys. Somebody break the eyes. Break the ice. <laughs> yes. You know how to break the ice, right? Start the conversation. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I I hear ice. Ice. Ice, like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. My theory is not so good to understand that word. Okay, my hearing is not so good. Okay, come on, guys. Hello, how are you to the, your day? Hello, Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have I... A, a great day because I have a, a meeting with a customer and I think all, all things uh, was good with them. Uh, so I have a busy day, but but I I feel happy. Yes. Okay. And about it's you? better. It's better when when you have a a busy day because it's it's faster than the other one when you don't yes. have to do uh, many many things. In my yes. case, is it was too too busy too. I feel like this day just happened really fast when went by very fast mm -hmm. went by very fast okay that was okay good evening good evening hi wendy my camera is is on because in micro micro uh, in the bus is that <laughs> okay. It's okay. Who continues the conversation? 
Greetings in English. Uh, I can ask you something, teacher. Can I ask you something? May I ask you something? Yes. I start hearing English corporativos since I can use since. I've been, I have been studying in inglés corporativo since... Since Intermedia 2. Mm, since Intermediate 2, since, yeah. And that was since last year, since November, since August. Maybe August, I believe August. Okay, but, I've been, yep. But the question is... Uh, I don't uh, receive any 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 what any uh, diploma regarding any, cer any certificate certificate any certificate from any level. I'm not sure if if uh, each of the levels has a, a certificate. Uh, Certification. Um, I, I have to to ask for them or? Yeah, you know what? You should ask administration uh, like on the on the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Just text uh, one of the um, people in administration because they should have it. They they must have them. If not, they may send them um, electronically. You know, like on your email. Mm, but uh, it's it's really that exists that certificate. It's true. That it's true. Yes. Yes. They, sometimes uh, Insaforb takes a while. To issue them because most um, diplomas are issued by Insaforp. Well, okay, like I say before, I I start from I don't know if it was August or or June, June, but I I can receive anything. You haven't received. Any diploma. Okay. Don't worry. Ask ask on the chat for sure. They will help you. Okay, guys. So our next plan is to start talking. So we're going to use a technique today uh, to push you, um, to help you push your classmates to speak. So that, that's my goal today. I'm, I'm going to make you talk. Even if you don't want to speak, you have to talk. So... We're going to do that um, before. I'm going to do the attendance really quick so we can move on. <clears throat> By the way, today is our class number 12. Let's see. And today is Wednesday, the 15th. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Cristian Nathalie Erazo Rogel. Present. Excellent. Diana Elizabeth Cherguiño Martinez. Not here yet. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present, teacher. Excellent. Please turn on your camera, Norma, Juan Carlos, and Nelson, please. And just for now, just while I do the attendance, okay? Uh, Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Oh, thank you. Marielena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. There she is. Okay. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. 
Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, guys. So what I want you to do is very simple, but very effective. If you do it right, this is going to work. Sorry. What am I doing here? Where are we? I got that error again, the bad gateway with English Corporativo. I don't know why. The site is not working. In the platform, teacher. Yeah, the platform is down for some reason. Uh, always, I, I... I always... Mm -hmm. I always enter or into uh, from the link of the email. My, yeah, yeah, my email. Yes, I'll try that. It's effective for me. Yeah, but it is still require your password. Anyways, yes. okay, yes. so. Thank you, thank you, Manuel. We're gonna do something right now. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I got it. I, I got into the platform very quick. Thank you, Manuel. That was very useful. Thank you. Okay, so what I want you to do is very simple. If you remember at the beginning of this module, advanced one, I send you two lists of verbs, two verbs list. So basically, what I want you to do is the homework. Very easy. Um, what we're going to do is open a list of verbs, sorry, and select any of the verbs on the list. For example, and without discriminating, I'm going to say climb. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Climb. Interesting. Okay. Fine. Which means asirse. Oh, sorry. Asirse or uh, adherirse. Okay. So now I want to think about a related word. Let me see. Put hmm. together. Join us. Join something. Join. To glue, glue something. Mm -hmm. Pegarse, uh huh. Okay. Okay. So let's see. You know the meaning already, so I'm not gonna. Well, let's add it. This is the way you should be doing your homework, the homework that I suggested you. Okay. So we have a verb with its meaning and a word with its meaning. Now, who can give me a grammar tense that turns to be difficult to you? A grammar tense. Grammar tense. Yeah. Present, past, All future. Tense. Present continuous. Past tense. Simple, like... simple past. Simple past. Now, thinking about this, we have two options. The shoes could be your subject, right? Or not. I, like, I, I was looking for a shoemaker to repair my, my shoes and clean the flying flying the 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 brand climb the soul soul suela the brand maybe it was nike but fell down <laughs> okay okay the the, the brand that sounds right as well. I wanted to remember how to say swell and yes, so, so soul, soul. I I got it on my brain as soul. Yeah, soul. So let's say well, what Jorge said. I was looking for a shoemaker, right? 
to repair my shoes. To climb my shoes brand. Right. Be careful with this. You remember, if you remember possessive nouns, okay? Mm -hmm. Possessive nouns, apostrophe, because it, it ends on, on plural, right? So I just add the apostrophe. Okay. Hope you got it. So there is the positive statement. Let's go with the negative statement. What would be the negative of the same sentence? Anybody? I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. Now, this is past continuous, um, Jorge. I wasn't looking for a shoemaker to climb my shoes, Brent. What would be the question? Same sentence. Do I was looking for? Do I was looking for? Mm. Everybody, how do you make a question on past continuous? Did. Did. Krista? Christian? Um, was... Mm. I looking for a shoes maker to clean my shoes from clean. Was I looking for a shoemaker to climb my um, shoes, Brand? Did I look? That wouldn't be present, I mean past continuous. Correct. Okay. Um, there you go. So this is what you're going to do. Challenge a classmate. How are you going to do it? Let me give you an example really quick. And all we have to do is positive, negative, and question of the verb and word that we're given. Okay, so for example, I'm going to choose Diego. Then I go back to the list of verbs and I choose any verb. Let me see. Cut. Easy. Cut. And this is the way you should do it. Okay. This is the way you should do it. Diego Armando, how do you say cortar in English? Cut. 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 Thank you. Cut. Okay. Diego, how do you say cintas de los zapatos? Cintas in English. <laughs> how do you say cinta de los zapatos in English? Google it. Come on. Laser? No. Nope. Um, actually, yeah, you can say shoelaces, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say shoelaces or shoe cords. I don't use laces too often. Shoelaces, shoe bands. Sorry? Shoelaces. Shoe bands. Shoe bands, okay. Shoe cords. Shoe straps. Shoe straps, okay. Okay. And this is just cintas, the way we know them. Okay, so how do you say cortar? Cut. How do you say cintas? Shoelaces. Okay. Give me positive, negative, and question, and I will tell Diego mm, simple future. Okay. I'm going to cut. Cut. My going to cut 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 my shoelaces tomorrow okay that's positive what's the negative keep going i'm not going to cut my shoelaces tomorrow cut cut <laughs> cut cut there you go <laughs> there's a song cut. 
There is a uh, song from 2016, I think, or 2015. So baby, you can. I can remember the name, the, the the lyrics of the song. But the at the end, the producer goes like, "Cut, cut." I don't know cut. If you remember. Yeah, cut. I'm going to cut. I'm not going to cut my shoelaces tomorrow. What's the question, Diego? Um, where, uh, where am I? Mm -hmm. Okay. Close question. Am I mm -hmm. going to cut, cut my shoelaces tomorrow? Okay. Do you want to get complicated? Make a WH. Um, where? Okay. Am Where I am I? Going... I... Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, you could make an open question. Where am I going to Where am I going to cut my shoelaces tomorrow? Why am I going to cut my shoelaces tomorrow? Where how am I going to make am I going to cut my shoelaces tomorrow? So this is simple. Just give the verb, the word, and the grammar tense to your classmate in the way I did. So first question will be, how do, repeat, how do you say, how do you how say, you say in English? So you, say? you make this question twice, right? Because first you will ask for a verb and then you will ask for a word. Got it? Again, how do you say comer in English? It. How do you say frijoles in English? Beans. Okay. Last, the last one, the last question you will make to your classmate as a challenge is, give me, let's just give a command. Give me, and then you say the grammar tense. To make this easier. So give me past perfect. Give me present perfect. Give me present continuous. Give me present simple third person. Present simple third person. And your classmate has to give you a positive negative question. You got it? Questions? Why, teacher? Why? <laughs> Teacher. Yeah. What do you mean? Wait. Yeah. Wait. Uh, let's say, let's ahead, have Jorge first. Then okay. we have who said? Who was the lady who said? What do you mean? Uh, Can dijo? What do you mean? Was it Norma? Norma? No, who said, what do you mean? And it was a lady. Wendy? No. Okay, Jorge, go. Uh, I, I don't know the, where is the, the list of the verbs that you are talking about. The verbs about. list? Okay, don't worry. I'll send it to you again. It's at the beginning of the chat. So it's I'm sending you the three PDFs. So the, the second and the third PDF. You have the list of verbs, and then you have routine and most common verbs, which is the ones that you should know by memory by now. Okay. Thank you, John317. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know who's John317. Okay, so. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de lo que vamos a hacer? Esto va a servir para presionar a tus compañeros a hablar. Ok, entonces ni siquiera esperes que encienda el micrófono o la cámara de un solo cuando ya los una empezada. Ok, Silvia, uh, wake up. Very late. I mean, Silvia, <laughs> perdón, I mean, Silvia, how do you say levantarse in English? Oh, wake up. Ok, Silvia, how do you say muy tarde in English? 
Uh, very late. Okay. Give me present perfect. Uh oh. Positive, negative question. Okay, Wendy, or who? My question, my, my question is uh, the verb, the least verb, uh, imagine, imagine the verb, or oh, invent. Uh, no, 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 don't invent, invent don't make it up. I... Open the list of verbs and select any mm. verb. Elija cualquier verbo okay. indiscriminadamente, en especial si usted no lo conocía o no lo conocían, eso va a ayudar mucho. ¿Ok? ¿En cuál lista o en la que mandó? Cualquiera de las dos. Sí. Ah, ah, okay. Ahí están ahorita en el WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Bien, espero que esto funcione. Es la primera vez que lo vamos a hacer. Presionen a sus compañeros, en especial si quieren mucho a su compañero, ayúdenle presionándolo. ¿Ok? So, it's just going to be three groups. Let's go. Teacher, ¿les vamos a hacer preguntas en oraciones o solo los verbos? Um, ok, eh, vas a preguntar primero cómo se dice saltar, por ejemplo, okay. un verbo. Okay. How do you say saltar in English? Te va a contestar. Ok, un verbo relacionado a saltar, vas a pensar tú en tu mente. Eh, how do you say la cuerda? In English, the rope. Te va a decir, ok. Y luego le decís, give me present perfect. I have jumped the rope. I haven't jumped the rope. Have I jumped the rope? That's it. Y luego el siguiente. Y el siguiente. Y así se van rotando. Ok. Ok, let's go. Uh, so Nelson, you're at the airport. Mario Villeda, did you get an, uh, yeah, you got an, uh, an invitation. Please accept the invitation. Pelear uh, in English. For me or? or yes, for you. Fight. Fight. Um, how do you say golpe? In English. Shoot. Or give head. me a. Give me a a, a future. Mm. Simply simple future. Mm. What else? I'm going to fight with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, 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 it's a joke. <laughs> when, when? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. You are a good boy, don't worry. <laughs> Silvia, how do you say dormir? Hey, where is the negative and the question there? Remember? Ah, oh. mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to fight with you, Carlos. Okay. And uh, the question, um, am I going to fight with Carlos? And the next, what am I going to fight with Carlos? Or maybe why? 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 Yeah. Am I going to fight with Carlos? Okay. 
who is next? Or you can continue, Diego, and tell Claudia or Juan Carlos or Silvia. Okay. Silvia. Tell me. How do you vote? What? Well. How do you say dormir? Sleep. Okay. Le uh, give me a simple past sentence. Um, I was asleep. Um, uh, yesterday at 8 p.m. Silvia, I think that is I went sleep to sleep. I went to sleep. I I will bend the clothes uh, tomorrow. Okay. In past. El pasado. Ya le digo cómo es el pasado. Ay, espérame que no me, ya me salí. Eso. Ahí está. El pasado es... Ben. Sería... I bent, I bent the clothes uh, yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ya lo hicimos, ¿va? En presente, en, en, en futuro y en pasado. Mm -hmm. Ok. Hoy busquemos otro, otro verbo, otra palabra y memorización. Ok, el juego es retar a un compañero o una compañera, ¿verdad? Entonces okay. tú le das un verbo y una palabra. Y luego le dices, dame futuro, dame pasado, dame presente simple, terceras personas. Y este compañero o compañera al que le estás preguntando, te tiene que dar positivo, negativo y pregunta. Oh. Y luego tú seguís y elegís a otro compañero. El que contestó, elige a otro compañero y así vamos rotando, ¿ok? Ah, okay. Okay, okay, try. En negativo, Wendy. I don't. En negativo. Oh, I don't bend the clothes every day. Okay. Um, friends, in question. Is, do I. No, ¿qué sería? Sí, me eso me cuesta. Do you do, uh, do, do I. I do I bend the clothes every day? Okay. Va hoy usted. Hoy tengo que retar yo a alguien más. Yes. Okay. Manuel. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you say empezar iniciar? In English. Okay. And for example, yes. For Begin. example, uh, new. New. Um, no, pero otra palabra. New. New company. Okay. Uh, this year I ah eh, pero la en presente en qué tiempo en, pre, en, pre, en presente en, en en presente en negativo y en pregunta uh -huh. en positivo presente. negativo bueno, en pregunta otro, en, cómo positivo negativo y pregunta o sea Wendy tú le dices a Manuel Manuel, ¿cómo se dice soñar en inglés? Okay. Dream. Okay. ok. Manuel, ¿cómo se dice suegra en inglés? 
Mm. Mother. Mother-in-law. Mother-in-law, thank you. Ajá, está. Mother-in-law. So, dream, mother-in-law. Ahora le digo, mmm, decímelo en presente perfecto. Oh. <ríe> ok. Eh, y empieza uh, Manuel, positivo, negativo y pregunta en presente perfecto usando dream, mother-in-law. Go ahead, Manuel. I dream with my mother-in-law. Mm, wait. Classmate, I'm sorry. Manuel, isn't it? I have dreamed with Ay, my mother-in-law. Uh -huh. I have okay, dreamed perfecto. with my mother-in-law. Continue. I have dreamed with my, mo my mother-in-law. Lo. 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 Ah, sí, sí. Okay. Lo. Uh, the next. <laughs> Negative. Negative. Uh, I I have not dream with my mother-in-law. Question. Question. Uh, I get, do have I, I have? Have I? Uh, have I? <laughs> have I dream with my mother-in-law? Perfect. You got it. Law. Mother-in-law. Father-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law. Okay, so you got it. You see? Positive, negative question. Okay, continue. Sister-in-law, teacher, ¿qué significa? In-law, bajo la ley. No, o sea, sister-in-law, sister-in-law. Hermanastra. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Es que como también step-sister, it's the same. Step-sister. Step-sister. No, perdón, perdón, perdón. Me equivoqué. Cuñada. Sister-in-law es cuñada. Ajá. Brother-in-law, cuñado. Sí, sorry. Step, step sister, step brother es hermanastro, hermanastro. Yes. Thank you. All you right. It. Thank you. Okay. Uh, my question is for Susana. Are you ready, Susi? Okay. I give you a, a easy bird. Bye. What do you say? Bueno, ya se lo dije. <laughs> eh, no, es otro. Entonces, pero también fácil. Eh, what do you say? Despertar. Despertar. Eh, get up. No, es levantar, va. Mm -hmm. Levantarme. Pero lo voy a buscar en el, en el listadito. <laughs> Google it, right? Get up. Eh? No, no, que levantarse. <ríe> wake Despertar. up. Despertar. Yes. Awake. Awake. Okay. Then the, the, the next, the, the question, the, the word is uh, bed. Ver. Bed. Ah, bed. Ok. Mm -hmm. eh, in present. Eh, ok eh, de, Give me a Grand Martens Así va teacher Give me a Grand Martens eh, In eh, Present in Simple present In Mm -hmm. Awake. Awake. Eh. Awake. Eh. In bed. Every way. Every day. Every day. Every. 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 Every day. <laughs> but I'm. But I'm close or not? Ow. Ahondar o cavar. Ah, what do you say in English? Cavar is. Uh, A ver, how I, do you say cavar? How do you say? In English, how do you say? How do you how do you say? Uh -huh. Te podría decir how do you say cavar in English? 
how do you say? How do you say? How do you say cavalry in English? How do you say pala in English? Okay. So, how do you say cavalry in English? Continue. Uh, let me think. It's a nice. It's it's an eighties Nintendo game. There was an eighties Nintendo game, Jorge. Yes, I I rem I I know the word, but I don't remember. Uh, you remember the game? Dig. Uh -huh. dig, 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 dig dog. Dig dog. <laughs> it was very funny. Yeah. Okay. How do you say uh, saltar in English? Jump. Wait, wait. ¿Qué pasó con el que le estaban preguntando dig dog? Ah. ¿Qué pasó? ¿A quién le estaban preguntando how do you say cavar in English? To me. Okay, so you have to make positive, negative, and question. Ah, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. okay, in, in present, <laughs> in present continuous. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm going mm. to, I'm going to be. Mm. That's future. Huh? That is future. I'm going to is future. It's Present future. continues. I'm digging. Yeah. Oh. Ah, okay. I'm digging. I'm digging. And what uh, was the word? ¿Cuál era la, cuál era la, la palabra? Dig. So, dig. No, dig the is verb. a verbal. How do you say verbal? How do you say cavar in English? Dig. How do you say hoyo in English? Hole. 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 Okay. Positive. I'm uh, digging a hole. I'm digging a hole, a big hole. Okay, great. Negative. I'm not digging a hole, a big a hole. A big hole? Question? Uh, who is... Yeah, who wait, is, who, who? Am I... Uh, okay. Am I digging a big hole? You got it. You got it. Oh, see? Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Ok. Ahora que tú hablaste, Jorge, tú dices, a ver, Cristia, how do you say mirar fijamente en inglés? Continúa, Jorge. <risa> ok. Uh, Cristia, how do you say uh, reparar en inglés? Repair? The the repair. the word is repair. The verb is repair. Yes. Repair and, and 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 also I don't know if fix doesn't work or not. It's a, um, it's a question. No, that's a good question. Fix. Yeah. Fix. Super rápido, Jorge. Fix. Arreglar. No no no. Mm. Mm. Yes, yeah, arreglar. Sí, arreglar. Y reparar, repair, fix, se me hizo un agujero en la manguera del radiador, agarré mi chicle, se lo puse en lo que llego, dije yo, ¿qué hice? Fix o repair? Fix. Fix, ok, otra vez, se me hizo un agujero en la manguera del radiador, se está saliendo el agua, mucha presión, ahí tengo una ferretería enfrente, compro una manguera y la cambio. Repair. Repair. Your repair. That's the difference. Is the is definite or or permanent the solution? Okay. Okay. Uh, the verb okay. the verb is repair. Repair, repair uh, and and the word and is please, my uh, car. Uh, no, because I have to to ask for the the word. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, Christian, how do you say television, no, tele, televisor in English? <laughs> TV. <laughs> okay, I consider that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and simple present is the first one. Um, I am present Present continue, yes. Um, I am 
repairing my TV? Yes, I consider that that's, that's okay. Yeah. Sure it's okay. I, I, re, repeat, please. Um, I am repairing my TV. Repairing me, my TV. Sounds okay. correct. Okay, uh, the next one is negative. Uh, negative. Okay, the negative, Um, I'm not repairing my TV. Okay. And the question, am I repairing my TV? Yes, that's good. So as for normal, the ask verb and two. the word, as to, and I say? As for. Oh. <laughs> no, okay, agarrar no, como no. las chiquilladas. Y yo dije, ¿y tú dijiste? Y yo dije, ¿y tú dijiste? <laughs> I think that, but... <laughs> I think so. Okay, keep going. Just four more minutes and we go back. Continue, continue. Okay. Um, Norma has... Walk well, to the mountain tomorrow. You have to start with will. What? Will I? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Will I walk to the mountain tomorrow? Okay, choose someone else. What? Oh, um, give me a moment. Uh, Diego. Okay. Uh, what do you say? Volar. How, how do you say? Repeat. How do you say? How do you say volar in English? Flight. Okay. Um, fly. 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 And. Avion. Airplane. Okay. Give me a sentence in. In present. Simple present. Simple present. Okay. I fly in a airplane today. Wait, that's past? Past or present? Uh -huh. Silvia? Silvia, what's the grammar tense? Tú le tienes que decir, give me past, give me present, give me future. Cualquier tiempo gramatical que tú quieras, Silvia. Go ahead. Yes, uh, simple present. Give me simple present. Okay, go ahead, Diego. Simple present. Um, do, 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 do. I fly. I fly, I fly, I fly. Mm -hmm. Airplane. Mm, today. Mm, es, no podría usar el presente simple para, para hablar de algo que ya pasó. Sunday. Mm, Ese futuro. I fly in airplane. On an airplane? On an airplane right now. That's present continuous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flying on an airplane right now. I fly on I an fly airplane. On an airplane. Every. Mm -hmm. I fly every on an year. airplane every year. I fly on an airplane. On Tuesdays, I fly on an airplane 
every weekend. Okay. The routine, Thank remember, routine yeah. things. Yep, yeah, go ahead. Now, negative, negative. And question. Mm -hmm. I don't fly. I don't fly on an airplane every week. And in a question, am I fly? No. In an do I? Do I? Yes. Yes, sir. Do I fly in an airplane? On an airplane? Every week? On an airplane every week? Do I fly in an airplane every week? There you go. Hope you got it. Let's. Okay, I think we're all, no, we're still missing 10 seconds. Just a minute. Bien, okay, uh, veo que ya regresamos todos. Voy a hablar solamente dos minutos. Eh, Súper rápido, quiero su opinión sus experiencias. ¿Qué pasó? Rapidín, rapidín, solo tenemos dos minutos para eso. ¿Qué pasó? I consider each of the classmates participate in this exercise. That was good. Ok. Ahora en español, todos, todos. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Cómo se sintieron? ¿Qué, qué, qué fue lo que más comúnmente ocurrió? Quizás, teacher, los eh, algunos verbos, porque muchos verbos, eh, y pues la señora Néstor no lo había revisado, pero muchos de los verbos que usted nos mandó, para mí eran desconocidos, los que estaban ahí en el, en el grupo, no había tenido la oportunidad, se me había escapado de tantas, tantos chats que uno está por ahí, ¿verdad? pero sí, está interesante, porque hay muchos verbos que yo desconocía, la verdad. Ok, buen... Buena observación, entonces sí. me faltan verbos que conocer. Esto, sí. Esta manera de realizar tu tarea, si todos hicieran eso todos los días, por lo menos tres ejercicios que hicieran de esta manera, el verbo, la palabra y luego positivo negativo pregunta, eh, lo vas poniendo en tu cuaderno, ¿sí? así como yo les enseñé en la pantalla, revisen el video de nuevo. Verbo, palabra, positivo, negativo, pregunta. Verbo, palabra, positivo, negativo, pregunta. No es el mismo verbo, no es la misma palabra. Son diferentes, vas cambiando el sujeto. Entonces, si tú hacieras esto todos los días, según Pareto, según Pareto, haciendo cinco verbos y cinco palabras, por lo menos dos verbos y dos palabras se te van a quedar al día. ¿Por qué? Porque le estás dando contexto al cerebro. Tu cerebro va a aprender en contexto la, el verbo y se va a quedar... Oh, Así se ocupa ese verbo. Y te aseguro que en más de alguno te vas a quedar como... Mmm, quizá debería empezar con la palabra como el sujeto de la oración. Porque el verbo va a afectar la palabra. O sea, te, te vas a encontrar con un montón de cosas. Ahora, ¿qué más ocurrió dentro de sus grupos? ¿Cómo en te sentiste? Uh -huh. Tengo que recordar mucho las estructuras. Tengo un montonazo de no practicar. Y la verdad que este ejercicio sí. Me lo tomo a sí, reto porque... funciona. Se me cruzaron los cables. Sí funciona. Lo que no estoy practicando... Se te olvida. Así, súper rápido. Ivet se llamaba... 2017... No, 2016. Septiembre. 
llega desesperada, básico tres conmigo, en la academia en la que estaba, y no había qué hacer. Y yo ya venía aplicando esta tarea con mis alumnos, pero cuesta que los alumnos se apliquen en esto. Y me dijo, mire, yo ya me cansé de vender tamalitos, ¿cómo se llama? Pastelitos rellenos de carne y, y verduras, no sé, pastelitos, en la calle y con mi mamá. Ya estoy harta, mi hija necesita un futuro mejor que el que yo he vivido, o sea, mi mejor vida, y soy mamá luchona, mamá soltera, como me quiera llamar. Yo necesito que usted me dé una clave para salir adelante en la vida, y yo necesito aprender, y yo le juro que lo que usted me diga que haga para aprender, eso voy a hacer. Segura, le dije, sí, me dijo. Esa mujer no me dejaba en paz. Todos los días, a la misma hora, cuando o sea, yo tenía 10 minutos entre clase y clase, para moverme de una clase a otra. Y pues me seguía. Y eso está bien, eso está bien, eso está bien. En inglés, en inglés le decía, o sea, presión hasta la muerte. Pero traí el cuaderno hecho a su, toda su, su tarea, todos los días, todos los días. Ey, pero ¿y con quién practico? Ah, grávese. Autocritíquese usted misma. Aprenda a, a escucharse usted misma. Men, no es mentira. En dos meses esa mujer pasó a intermedio. Cuando yo me fui de esa academia, eh, dejé de ser gerente de esa academia. Fue increíble. Me la encontré como al año en un call center que yo andaba dando unas entrevistas. Y me la encuentro y casi me rompe las costillas. Tengo ocho meses de estar en este call center, me dijo. Y le pregunté, ¿y los pastelitos? Mi mamá los está vendiendo ahora, me dice. Y ahí está la niña ayudándole, me dice. Y a la par, cuando yo llego, se pone a estudiar inglés conmigo y una mujer llorando, o sea. Pasé de no ganar nada, o sea, de tener mi propio emprendimiento con mi mamá, que en realidad no se ganaba mucho, a ganar 800 dólares al mes. Gracias a usted. Y yo le dije, yo no hice nada. Fue usted. Así de simple. Así como esto te puede funcionar a ti, Puede que no te funcione, puede que te funcione más otra cosa, pero la cosa es constancia y disciplina. That's it. Te lo digo, yo estoy bajando la panza, constancia y disciplina. Y a veces terquedad, porque antier y ahora, o sea, el lunes, miércoles y viernes, le estoy dedicando el carro, martes y jueves a los niños. Entonces, lunes y miércoles. No almorcé, se me olvidó, por estar clavado en algo. Ay, después, ahí voy a comer algo después. Llegó la hora de la cena y tampoco tenía hambre, así que me tomé un batido y estuvo. Entonces, a veces sirve de mucho sacrificar el cuerpo, sacrificarte, decir, no, 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 no tengo que estar viendo videos de TikTok, no tengo que estar con el teléfono, no tengo que estar chambreando con mi esposa como estuve en la novela, no, o sea, enfócate. ¿Qué quieres en tu vida? Pero es que, teacher, ya tengo 45 años y estoy estudiando esto, ¿por qué me lo han exigido en el trabajo? ¿Sos feliz ganando lo que ganas? ¿Sos feliz en la posición en la que estás? ¿Hay posibilidades de crecer en tu trabajo si solo supieras hablar bien inglés? So, ánimo, ¿eh? Ánimo. Esto no es para desanimarlo, sino todo lo contrario. Que vean que se puede. El mínimo esfuerzo que hagas ahorita, después... No, no lo vas a creer. Y me vas a decir, ya le voy a enviar un video de Jordi. ¿Cómo era que se llama este tipo? Y un argentino, Jordi, que era locutor de radio. <risa> Llegó a ser locutor de radio y era tartamudo. O sea, cuando estaba pequeño era tartamudo y llegó a ser locutor de radio. Ese era su sueño. Ven. Es increíble. Es increíble. Entonces, eh, acuérdenme que les envíe ese video para que se muevan de verdad a hacer lo que tienen que hacer cuando lo tienen que hacer, aunque no lo quieran hacer, ¿ok? So, let's continue. So, I hope you do this. It's not part of the program, but it's a very good way for you to move on learning. Because if we just stay or stick to the plan of the module of advanced one, uh, You may be quiet all classes, so that's not okay. I'm checking the platform, by the way, as we speak. Where are you? Why is this in Spanish? Anyways, 
administrador de estudiantes. Ok, let's see your grades. Oh my God. Cristia Erazo, zero. No, pa. Ok, let's see. <laughs> hey, Carlos, come on. Remember, you have to do up to the in, up to the midterm exam. You have to be up to the midterm exam. Okay, unit one, unit two, the midterm exam. Great job, Christian. Oh my God, you finished everything already. Good job. Thank you. Diana, almost as well. Yeah, 100 on everything. That's good. Diego, mm, keep trying. Unit two, unit two. Let me see. Jorge, good job. Let me see. Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, come on. Do it, do it. Manuel, great job. Everything, 100. One applause for Manuel, please. He's got 100 on everything. <laughs> wow. Okay, copia, dice. A cinco dólares la copia. Okay. Hey, hey, business, business. Okay, Mario Ernesto Villeda has everything as well. Mario Jose, good job. Oh, my God. Hey, come on, guys. If you haven't finished your platform, you can do it. That's okay. Susana, good job, everybody. And Wendy, Wendy, good job. That's exactly what we need. So almost everybody has finished unit one, two, and the midterm. Try to be up to date uh, with the platform. That's all InsaForb requires from you. And tonight, tonight we're supposed to work on... Um, investing on a trained workforce. So there is a statement that you need to read. So this is the statement, investing on a trained workforce. And we have to brainstorm about this idea. So this is the, um, the sentence, investing on a trained workforce. Tell me what what comes to your mind when you see this. Looking, you are looking for a method. A method, okay. There you go. Okay, so investing on a trained workforce, a method, a method, or or, or, or the benefits that the company could uh, get with the train. With training people? Yes. The employees? Okay. What do you think, Christian? I think it's when the company, um, I don't know, invertir, invert. Invests? invest on on the capacities of the workers for do mm -hmm. something in place. Hmm. okay so when the company invests on employees skills on employees skills on employee skills. Okay. Carlos, what do you think? Investing on a trained workforce. Mm. Uh, yes, it's almost the same uh, when a company um, make a plan for or oh, to train employees, maybe develop their their skills and in increasing the their knowledge for all employees maybe okay so this is similar to what we did yesterday right what we saw um as we saw on the video yesterday before finishing the class why is it important to invest on on, on training the employees you you can increase your 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 benefits and you didn't want to say benefits 
you didn't want to say benefits. Lo que acabamos de hacer en el ejercicio anterior, por cierto, miren, eso les va a salvar la vida. El hecho, el simple hecho de aprender a decir bien, how do you say, how do you say, in English? ¿Por qué es importante? Si vas a Estados Unidos o te encuentras un gringo, ¿ah? ¿cómo le decís? Algo y no sabes. Esta pregunta es clave. Ok. Te estás muriendo y no sabes cómo hay pedir ayuda. Excuse me, how do you say ayuda, ayuda in English? <laughs> ok, so keep that in mind. So, Jorge, how do you say ingresos in English? Ingresos. Aha, so this will help the company improve their incomes their incomes mm -hmm. their incomes and also uh, what and also uh, reduce the the mistake of the employees so that is is Ganancia. How, how do you say ganancia in English? Everybody, how do you say ganancia in English? Teacher, benefits or gain? Profit. Profits. 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 Mm -hmm. I was looking for profit, but I don't remember the word when. Gain. <laughs> gain. Gaining, no. Yeah, gain, gain. Okay, win when you you win the lottery. Win the lottery. Gain muscle and money. You gain muscle and money. You earn. You earn, earn you earn your salary. Win, earn, gain. Okay. Okay, continue. Uh uh how like i i said before in, increase their the earn earn their 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 earnings okay <laughs> the earning of the company and uh -huh. they, they will be happy with because they could be better or or uh, be better than the the competitors. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> Someone else. Great job, Jorge. Uh huh. Someone else. Increase the opportunities to grow in the company. Okay. Wait. Okay, more growing opportunities for both sides, right? The employees and the company can grow. Okay. That's all we get from training employees, from training the workforce. Let me tell you, um, investing on trained workforce is important nowadays, not just on developing skills on the employees, uh, but there are some important, well, depending on the, on the type of company, right? If you manufacture or you don't manufacture a product. Um, if you are just on the service area, on both circumstances, um, first aids, training the, the employees on first aids is critical. Nowadays, the Ministry of Labor of El Salvador is, is like very uh, concerned about this, uh, training the workforce on first aids. Not lying, first aids. That has become like a trend. That's a trend in El Salvador and a must 
a must for, for all companies. If you don't train your employees on first aids, uh, you can get a ticket, okay? You can get a fine, okay? The Ministry of Labor of El Salvador can sue you. They can legally sue you if you don't apply this. Why? Why is it important? First aids, why is it important to know about, um, how do you call the training for security at work? How do you call it in Spanish? Oh. Seguridad y salud ocupacional. <laughs> in English? Security and safety. Uh huh. Security. Safety and safety at work. Uh, you could say occupational security and safety. Yeah. Occupational security and safety at work. Okay. Why do you think it is important to be trained on this topic? Occupational security and safety at work. Uh, I believe many companies want to want to get the certificate of some uh, normas like ISO. Okay, so they have to comply. Comply. Uh, with business standards yeah, I, I will say international business standards business standards that's true nowadays is like very important for companies to comply with international business standards like the ISOs right Christia what do you think Wendy everybody where are everybody, where's everybody else uh -huh. in, in my opinion uh, occupation, occupational security and safety at work. Uh, the the company don't That's don't it. pay for accident or for problem with with the employee. Pay. Wait, wait, wait! They don't pay. Don't pay in in case of of the employees. Um, have accident when an employee is injured repeat injured ah, injured. injured injured exactly so when an employee suffers an injury or is injured at work many companies don't pay for the treatment or rehabilitation or whatever or the funeral because how would you say how would uh, how would you, <laughs> how do you say how do you say sorry how do you say ahorrar save money save money save money so the company in, saves money in case yes in case injure injure no, injure 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 accident if you avoid injured accidents. Yes. Also, also, I think the companies give uh, that kind of trainings because they want to everybody uh, stay safe when a catastrophe <laughs> or catastrophe, or catastrophe, mm -hmm. catastrophe, yes. Um, and I think uh, that is one of the main reasons. Okay, so um, let me think 2013, 2013. Between 2013 and 2016, I worked at a call center where, well, it's called, it's called Cognizant, I think that was the name. I was an interpreter. You know what is an interpreter, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. 
but that was a medical interpreter. <laughs> at first, mm -hmm. I first I thought, oh my god. This is going to be challenging. I had worked as an interpreter here in El Salvador for tourists, but that, that was just a hobby. It was just a hobby back in 2010, 2005. I used to do it as a hobby, you know, go to El Puerto and talk to gringos or gringas and, and start like, hello, how are you? My name is Rafael. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and guide them through. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The accent, the typical accent. <laughs> For him. <laughs> right? So I used to take them around, you know, show them El Puerto and, and not expecting money. I never accepted money. I, I was very clear. It, this is just my hobby. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's, if you want to rent some surfboards, you can go to La Punta and whatever. So. But man, working as an interpreter for medical situations was very difficult. In the United States, it's different than here in El Salvador. I don't know if in your company, but I, 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 I'm sure Jorge and Marilena have uh, insurance. I hope you have insurance, but not everybody has an insurance um, from their job here in El Salvador. So let me give an example. Okay. <laughs> so it was like ring. Okay. Hi, this is Tracy. Um I'm calling because I need to speak with Jorge. No, I'm not gonna say it, Jorge. I want to speak with Juan, okay? Okay, Tracy, not a problem. My name is Rafael. I'll be more than glad to help you. Uh, so I already have the information on my screen, so let me call Juan. Hello, uh, Buenos días, Don Juan. Mi nombre es Rafael. Estoy llamando del servicio de interpretación de su aseguranza. Me comentan que tuvo un accidente. Ay, sí, sí es horrible. Bueno, no se preocupe. Tengo a la ajustadora de los seguros en la otra línea, ¿ok? Ah, qué bueno. Se estaba esperando que me llamara. Fe. Ah, ok, no, pro no problema. Yo le voy a ayudar. A... Voy a interpretar. Voy a traducir de su español al inglés lo mejor que pueda para la ajustadora, ¿ok? Esta sesión es de deposición, es decir, la primera que vamos a hacer va a quedar grabado por motivos legales. ¿Está de acuerdo? Sí, sí, no hay problema, no se preocupe. Ok. Todo lo que usted diga, don Juan, yo se lo voy a decir como que soy usted a la ajustadora y lo que ella me diga se lo voy a decir a usted como que yo soy la ajustadora. ¿Estamos claros? Ah, sí, sí, mi hermano me estuvo explicando. Sí. Ok. Chío. Benito, vení para acá que me están hablando. Ok. So, uh, Tracy, now we have conference the lines. Ok. Now we are in a conference call and I have one on the line. Ok. So, can you ask Juan what happened? Don Juan. ¿Qué pasó? Ah, que fíjese que yo estaba trabajando y entonces eh, yo, eh, bueno, la sierra con la que cortamos la madera me cortó la pierna derecha. Ah, ok. I was working with the saw um, as we cut pieces of wood, you know, in the fabric and, um, and the saw cut my right leg. Which part of your leg was cut. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. What, how many, I mean, what portion of your leg was cut? ¿Qué porción de su pierna se cortó? Ah, fíjese que, eh, bueno, es que como es una máquina que lleva varias sierras, las tres sierras me cortaron la pierna, entonces fueron tres pedazos de pierna y pues a la altura de la, de la cintura casi. Um, it was three saws, uh, the machine has three saws, and it cut the right leg in three pieces um, to the wrist section. So you cannot walk. Entonces no puede caminar. No, fíjate que no puedo caminar. Uh, ya fui a terapia. Estoy en terapia ya, eso fue hace tres meses. So that, this was three months ago, and así toda la llamada. Una llamada de una hora. I was like, wow. 
and that was a real call. At the end of that call, I was like, oh my God, can I go to break? Yes, I'm taking a break. Man, because it feels weird to be on somebody else's shoes. Can you imagine that? Of course, they paid him a lot of money, but man, losing a leg, losing an arm. Now, what happened when the accident with the accident happened? The first thing they called 911. 911 goes to the company with an ambulance and before the employee leaves the job either the secretary of the of the company or the doctor of the company sometimes go with the employee to the ER the the emergency room are you following <laughs> yes and they give him a case number once once they are sure that the employee will be fine that he will survive the accident they give him a case number and he calls the insurance whenever he wants got it okay okay ¿Qué quiere decir once what's the meaning of once Una vez. Uh, mm. Ajá, una vez que. So once they find out, una vez se dan cuenta o oh, saben. Okay, I hope you like the story. <laughs> Sorry, but it was related to this topic. Um, training <laughs> your employees. That was a training, basically. So that was a training. Because if they train, they have to train you at work because part of the questions of the insurance are, were you using protective equipment? Were you distracted with your cell phone? Did, were you hearing, were you listening to music when this happened? Did someone call you? And you turn your head and then, you see, las aseguradoras van a hacer de todo por culpar al empleado del accidente. Oh, eso sí. So, were you listening to music? Oh, okay. Did somebody call you and distract you? It's very dangerous when you're working with machinery. So, I hope you got the point. So, the company had to train Juan on what to do, what not to do, and what to do with the insurance, how your insurance works. Okay? Y se quedarán todos. ¿Cómo es posible que alguien trabaje en una empresa americana y no hable inglés? <laughs> That's my question. There are, there are many. That's my question. 20 years living in the United States and no English. And you know what they say? They say, I don't like the English. 20 years working there. It's crazy, but that's the way it is. So that's our topic for tonight. Um, if it is important, yes, it is important to invest on a trained workforce. So at this point, um, you need to create a training. We have reached a level where you are going to deliver a training to your classmates. How? How are we going to do this? Be creative. Be creative. As a group, you need to teach. You need to train the whole class. You can be creative. How to use an extinguisher, okay? This is extinguisher. This is my extinguisher and you have to open the tap first and then turn it upside down and then you extinguish the fire, okay? For example, be creative. Whatever you want to do, just explain your classmates right now <laughs> how to, <laughs> okay? Christian is going to train us on how to hug your dog, how 
to <laughs> give some love to your dog. Okay, you can scratch his ears, talk to him with little boys, right? Whatever you want to do, just train your whole class. You got it? Okay. No necesariamente tiene que ser un tema de trabajo, vamos lo divertido. Puedes entrenar a, tu, a tus compañeros. Al final de estar reunidos, le voy a dar 15 minutos para que se preparen, ¿ok? ¿Questions? No, teacher. Ok. I, think no. I don't think so. I don't think so. Increases productivity. Thank you, Marilena. It's true. Training the workforce increases productivity. So let me recreate the groups. Eh, si les ruego a todos que se unan a cada grupo que se crea, aunque no puedan participar porque están dormidos o comiendo o lo que sea, o trabajando, o en el aeropuerto, como alguien que me dijo, es la única persona que me ha dicho que está en el aeropuerto, eh, si les ruego que se unan para que no se queden solo sus compañeros, ¿ok? Let's go. Mario, Juan Carlos, let's go. In your classroom, and talk it by creating, create, create, make a phone. Mm. And maybe you, the, um, the first, first eight. Precisely for is a for is a the terremoto. How do you say terremoto? <laughs> Good. How to react on an earthquake? Earthquake. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know your other idea. My classmate. But we have to choose one topic, each one, or one topic for all? One topic for all. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Mm. How to react for airplanes? For me, it's okay. Airplanes. Okay. Okay. So the first is the the first one is the pronunciation, and the second one is the spelling. That's the way you spell it, right? Earthquake, and you pronounce it earthquake. Earthquake. Er, er, er. Así, tal, tal cual está escrito la pronunciación. Earthquake. Earthquake. Earth, earthquake. Saca la lengua. Earthquake. 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 Supla, earthquake. Sopla, sopla, Carlos. Earthquake. 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 Change the topic. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, no. That's a good topic. Okay, well, you decide. It's up to you. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, your car or your motorcycle, uh, suddenly you, uh, you uh, crash with other car. The first part of the, the part of the process is the uh, you you need uh, to call to the uh, the insurance company and give the give the call of the company. Chico, me voy a levantar solo 30 segundos, okay? Ahorita regreso. And okay. then uh, you need to to wait in the in the place. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't it doesn't matter if the other car left the the scene or the other yes left the scene, but you need to to stay to stay in the in the right place, right? And okay. and then uh, you you will receive the the personal for the insurance company and give the information about how how what happened uh, in the accident, like teacher, like teacher self, but. Uh, but this is a, a really a part of my my training in this company about the new uh, employers that that uh, that's uh, driving a, a motorcycle because the equipment were. Uh, for the company, right? All right, a, a little. This is my my little um, participation. Okay. Um, I don't know how how about this. <laughs> about um, your your care of your dog. <laughs> <laughs> I have I, I actually I have three dogs and okay. and well maybe I can I can explain you about how you how you can care, care? the health healthy of the of the dogs so um <laughs> I don't know. The first one you you need to to get one dog. <laughs> that that is the first step. <laughs> so to get um, a to get a to get a dog. To get a dog, yes. And and then uh, you you try to care of uh of um, to try to care everything about about the the lifestyle of dog you need to learn about uh what kind of food they need or what um what shampoo they need because they have an special shampoo if if he has if if they have um allergies i don't know and, um, and, I, and I don't know. You need to 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 bring love. <laughs> okay. Good. Thank you. Another one. Yeah. I think the other ones are listeners. Yes. Plan. Work. As to Competent. be property property plant 
Uh, what about the, the site? You have to, uh, for that kind of work, uh, there are, there are signal or sites, teacher. Sorry, again? Uh, signal or sites is about uh, working heights. Signals. Just the, oh, follow the signals, maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. Follow the signs. Follow, follow, the signs. follow, follow, follow the signs. Follow the signs. You need to follow the signs. That's right. The site supervised and carried out com competent people uh -huh. with the skills, knowledge, and experience to do the job. Okay. Uh, be be sure the the area is is cleaning. It's clean. It's clean of any. Uh, the area. Is clean, clean of uh, any stuff, any stuff. You can use stuff in that case. Yep. Any stuff. Um, uh make sure in that area there are uh personal uh, giving given given the the rules Or, or maybe always are uh, people in charge of the safety. Charge. In charge of the safety. In charge of the safety. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. We're just missing three minutes, okay? Okay. Okay. Or I have another one. Okay. Um... In the space, the PRC in the space, rapid observation of vulnerability and assimilation of risk. Rapid visual screening of building or for potential. They need offer. Training publication. Other. Earthquake. Relative training. Other. Is M. So let's end. 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 Right. Here, quick. Pero no sé, yo siento que más que como buscar la información es como quizás sí. ¿no? como quizás hacer como Um, okay. Maybe, uh, ¿cómo, cómo, ¿cómo capacitaríamos sobre cómo actuar más que todo? Ah, pero creo, ajá, pero es como hacer la mímica, como que digamos que, eh, ¿cómo se llama Susana? Fuera la entrenadora o la, la que va a capacitar y nos dice eh, como que, cuáles son los pasos en la compañía. 
y ya está Ajá. señalizado, que nos diga, eso es lo que hay que hacer, más que Ajá. como buscar información, más que nos diga, ah, compañeros, aquí ya está señalizado, si ocurre un sismo, eh, tenemos que seguir las señales y las zonas seguras allá, como eso. Uh -huh. so, something like that, but, but in English. <laughs> yes, in English. <laughs> <laughs> Entonces, no sé. I don't know if the church is um, is one take um, no sé, como un puesto un training uh, or there is the administrator for, for example that put the signal in the walls in other um, Take the train. Como tres, tres. No sé ni cómo dicen en español eso. Como tres. Hacer como la, 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 las tres personas. ¿no? Una que sea entrenador, el otro el administrador que pone los, como los letreritos y el otro el que recibe el entrenamiento. Así, como chiquito. Uh, no sé, nos rifamos para ver quién es quién, pero piensa que esas serían como las tres más de Tree. Uh, that we need in this it's a great, it's a great uh, the community. Uh, it's a, uh, but the Marielena is a responsibility. Uh, Carlos is, is a eh, teacher. We have to make a like a interact interact with each other or just try just explain. I'm still thinking about it. I I, I was expecting you to interact with the whole class. Explain them, ex make an exposition. Okay, guys, so today we're going to train you on how what to do in case of an earthquake. Okay, so if there is an earthquake, uh, Susana Beatriz is going to tell you what to do. And Susana goes like, okay, okay run for your like life. Like a role play. Like a role play. Huh? This is it. Run for your life. That's what you have to do. That's it. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Okay. Pero sí, te tienen que decir a la audiencia qué es lo que se debe hacer en caso de earthquake en este caso. Okay. Mm. One minute. Ay, One minute. Ay, Cristo. <laughs> um. Hagamos entonces algo así, uno hace la introducción y el otro explica, o, o los otros tres explican, o dos explican. Maybe. Yo introduzco el curso. Ok. Eh, ahora... Eh, eh, eh. ¿Qué harían entonces? Uh, I am to use the course. Um, maybe, for example, I say, uh, hello. First, uh, in, in case of an earthquake, you have to, to be calm. And mm. I don't know. My, I, the responsibility, uh, the, the person, the old person, uh, uh, get, sería, get up, salir, teacher. Get out. Get Every, up. For get everybody out. to get out. Get out, everybody get up. Uh, the, the edific 
of the building. Oh, install. Uh, Installment. Install <laughs> of the facilities. Installate. Facilities. Uh, facilities. Um, in order. Uh, I, I see. Uh, don't, don't running. We are in the breaker room, teacher, or nope. no? Okay. Okay, so let's start with group number two. Cristia, Juan Carlos, Diego, Manuel, and Mario. Hello. Okay, okay. So just remember that you're yep. training, you're training every one of us. You're giving us a training, so go ahead. Okay, Manuel, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, I I mm -hmm. I start. Um, maybe uh for have for being a safety in in the work at work. I think I told my 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 classmate that we are in hangar, so we have to need as a personal protect and we need to have some training and when you walk around uh, the hangar or between aircraft because i have i, I work with aircraft you need to have a cask a, a cask and uh, how do you say casco cask helmet uh, how helmet helmet okay that too um and you do have to <laughs> to bring a special boot and you need to have a special glasses um and only that <laughs> you need to be you need to be safe okay Kitia. Uh, thank you and I'm going to to train everyone uh, about when you use, uh, for example, when you drive a, a motorcycle, like Christian said. Uh, normally, people uh, ride a motorcycle just a, a helmet protection, but part of uh, this is a, 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 a part of the protect that one driver uh, needed. For example, in my case, I, 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 I always, I, I used uh, gloves, uh, also one driver need uh, Protection in the ankle, all, and also you need protection in your uh, in your knee because 
eh, when people eh, down or have an accident, the, the main part they uh, injure is the, the knee, the knees and ankles, and oh, uh, of course the, the head. And then uh, generally all uh, rider or, or driver and uh, need to, uh, okay, elbow, codo, thank you, teacher. Uh, need uh, wear protection, and the the last is uh, the use a special boat uh, for any accident, right? That's that's it. That's all. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. I hope it's useful <laughs> this information. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Manuel. It's very interesting. <laughs> all drivers? Okay, una cosa. Eh, when you use all, be careful. All plural. Hmm? All drivers. All drivers. Singular, every driver. Every driver. Mm -hmm. Remember, how do you remember this? Every day. You don't say every days. You say every all day. days. All, all days. days. All days is the same. Every day is the same. So every singular, all plurals. Okay. Good. Great job. Thank you, Cristia, Manuel. Let's go with group number three. Claudia, Jorge, Mario, Jose Valle, and Wendy. Okay, teacher. We work like like a, a group. We chose the topic working heights. And we consider uh, for that kind of of works, we need to to create create a protocol, a protocol that includes some rules and and advices, like use the right type of equipment of safety for each of the person that has to be involved in the in the activity other one is follow the signals and be sure uh, all the areas when the activity is developed uh, is clean with any stuff that can can be a a problem for the people that are working in there and uh, the the work has to be properly planned, 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 uh, and be directed, directed by the correct people that is uh, that has experience in the in the topic and in, in the kind of work that you has to do and has to has the skill and knowledge necessary to 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 teach to the other to the other ones that that never uh, maybe never has has been doing that kind of works and maybe claudia uh, can continue with the explanation to the group just like jorge said 
And the important thing when you work in high is inspect your PPE, like we say in Espanol, EPP. And it's the same the, in English. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, you should be inspected by the user uh, prior to every use. It's important that anyone who might be using the device understand that they're what they are looking for. And also harnesses and lanyards need to be inspected annually, annually, if not more frequently, by a compet a competent person, one with the knowledge and to recognize that is it is okay or not. Also Safety lanyards need to be properly selected as well, but a uh, person who is uh, an expert in that. And I don't know, just that. Uh, just just to complete, you has to be prepared in case an emergency. Maybe you have to 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 get an ambulance for that activity. And uh, I don't know if Wendy want to share something. Okay. Okay, I think that's all. Uh, Jorge, please check your chair, check the, the chat on some. Other one, another okay. one. Or not? Uh -huh. Just copy and save that. Check the feedback. Uh, Claudia, uh, give me just a minute. Only that. I mean, that's it. <laughs> okay. I was about to do the same. Claudia said just that, and I was about to tell her only that as a correction. No, no, no. It's, that's it. That's it. Don't forget that. That's it. Wendy one, Wendy want, Wendy wants to continue. Third person, third person, Jorge. Okay, good job. So to recognize that is okay, if it is okay or not, to recognize if it is okay or not, just that and that's it, that's it, that's it. When you finish talking, that's that's a very useful that's it. um tip. Okay, guys. I'm gonna leave you for tomorrow, the group number one, if if that's okay. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marilene is like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we will continue tomorrow with you guys. Now, I finished the list of the 10 minutes. So we are, con we are restarting. We are restarting. I haven't talked to Claudia. I think we haven't had the time. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, would you like to stay today or tomorrow? It's up to you. Tomorrow, please. Okay. So I'm mm. going to stay with Carlos again tonight. Carlos Alfredo, if you could stay 10 minutes, if that's okay. Okay. Let me do the attendance. Please don't miss tomorrow. It's Thursday. We have to continue with these topics and the class. Okay. Mm. Enjoy the night. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Present. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Present and good night. Good night. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. I thought I saw Diana somewhere. Not anymore. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Good teacher. Good night. Good night. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Marilena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Hi teacher, present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Hello. Good night, okay. Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. Hi, good night. Good night. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. wonder if Nelson mm -hmm. made it at the airport. Um, Norma Carolina Villeda Avalos. 
She left Silvia Suleyma Rodriguez was here too. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. Oh yeah, Silvia, there she is, okay. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, blessing. We just missed Diana tonight, okay. Okay, so we're staying with Carlos. Okay, Carlos, how are you tonight? I'm fine. Right. So, where were we? What? Where were we? ¿Dónde estábamos? Where were ah, we? Uh, in the class or the last? Last session, last session, did I? Did I ask you to try something or do something? No. Just the homework? Yes. <laughs> home. <laughs> okay. Have you tried the homework? Yes, I I tried, but I haven't finished yet. I just finished uh, unit one. Mm. No, I was not talking about the, the platform. But ah. now that you mention it, <laughs> now that you mention it, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, oh, well, you got a 96. Okay. So you're missing unit two and the midterm exam. Ask um, ask Manuel for copia, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Manuel is all hundreds, you know, and he, he finished everything already. That's admirable. So okay. Fun. So how have you been? doing are you working already mm. i mean i mean are you improving at your job i heard you mentioned that you wanted to be working as an accountant but using english right yes 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 i and i had and i had i have been watching some videos uh, like Accounting in general, but in English in YouTube. Oh my God! Really? Yes. Um. I have. I I have learned uh, some words that I didn't know. Um. The words that we use in maybe in a in a balance, the balance sheet, uh, assets, liabilities. Uh, something like, like that uh, because and I have been looking for a um, financial statement uh, but but in English for a company maybe in the United States but in Google in Google on Google on Google uh, trying to to improve this area okay Google has a lot of free courses, right? Yes, I I am ah, I am I take a, a course. I'm um, taking a course in in Busu. Bu Busu. Bu Busu. Um, Busu. Let's see. Ah, Busu. B U S U U. B U S S U. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. V U S S U. Uh -huh. I have B S. I'm sorry. V U S U U. Uh -huh. I taking. Um, I'm taking. I'm taking uh, the like the officing or, or I don't know how do you say. Como inglés de la del trabajo. Uh, in English for work. Mm -hmm. English for for work in that mm -hmm. course. Uh, I'm taking maybe a lesson, uh, one lesson for day. It's okay because you learned uh, a lot of word that you use uh, in a company. How to take calls and sort and something like that. Mm -hmm. Is this the first time you use this application? Hmm? It's free. Yeah, yeah. Is this the first time you use it? Ah, yes, it's my first time. 
Uh, I think that is good because this year I, I have been um in the other years uh, was um a course you had to pay for the course but this year they put put it free um if you want to pay uh, you 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 can pay and the the difference is that um because there there are uh, uh it's, it's like a social media and you can you can correct uh, an exercise uh, for a person who is learning spanish for example uh -huh. and the and the pers the people that is uh, learning spanish but they can speak english maybe that i needed a speaker they can correct your exercises. Um, and it's good. And when you pay, you uh, the, the platform uh, is like uh, suggests more people to correct your exercise. And when you don't pay, it's like uh, maybe you make a lot of exercises, but... Um, anybody correct nobody you. correct you not nobody corrects you or or maybe yes but it's not it's not it's not like if you pay but for me it's okay without pay i'll review this more often because i'm looking at french Ah, yes, you can learn other languages, too. Yes. Au revoir. Yes, it's, it's for me. I oh, think but it's some, sometimes, good. sometimes there's no recording. Hmm? Some, oh, no, no, it wasn't. It was just an exercise. Au revoir. Je m'appelle Raphaël. Bonjour. Ah, uh -huh, yes, there are a lot of uh, records uh -huh. that's really good actually I got a 75% because I made a mistake <laughs> <laughs> hey it's a, thank you thank you I'll check this this definitely because it's going to help me um, developing something else that I'm working on and um, so let's see I will see I will continue checking on it thank you Buzu <laughs> Well, it's by my pleasure. Um, I don't know if you have any questions, if if you have um, noticed something in the class that is helping you or are we missing something? Any ideas? No, I think that is okay, teacher. Uh, the class is a good class and we are learning a lot. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. I hope to we can continue that way. And if you have any suggestions, please text me or if you need any help, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hope you have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Good, good night, bye-bye.